All right, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I just want to welcome everyone today. Uh, and thank you for joining us. I know everyone's very busy. Uh, I would like to, first of all, introduce you to Natasha Nichols. She is the Director of Operations for Hanson Software, and she is going to be doing most of the presentation uh, portion today. We also have Jerry Brown on the line to help answer any questions as to what the Hanson software integration looks like in terms of Wildex. Uh, if you have any questions throughout the presentation, you're more than welcome to drop them in the questions tab and we will answer them and get you all the information you need. So with that, I'm gonna turn things over to Natasha. Great, thank you so much, Katie, and thank you everyone for taking the time today to join and learn a little bit more about what we have to offer in terms of additional reporting and recording capability with integrating into the Wildex platform. Um, so we are Hanson Software. We offer two products. We have the Hanson Cash Plus Call Accounting, which is a reporting module that allows you gives you a more in-depth reporting tool to run reports on number of phone calls for the company as a whole by individual department or individual extension. You can run reports on uh, individual stations, details of those calls, overviews. Um, you can get as in-depth as you like. We have a dashboard utility, which I'll show you as well. And then we also have the Cash Plus Hanson call recording, which is a recording tool where we actually take the Wildex recordings and integrate them into our product to give customers a longer retention on those recordings um, and give them full access to both of our products. So. The goal today is just give you a little bit of an overview as to our product. I'll talk about the pricing, and then if there's any questions at the end, I'm always happy to answer anything that you have. So we offer both premise and hosted. Um, I know most of the time a lot of the Wildex tends to be in a hosted environment, um, but it can be premise-based as well. So with our product, the customers have the option of buying a premise-based solution or a hosted. One of the nice things about the hosted platform is um, the customer isn't responsible for monitoring actively if we are capturing the data or the recordings from the Wildex system. That notification of alert uh, collection gets sent to our technicians, so we take the onus off of the customer of them having to monitor the PC, making sure it's turned on, and that sort of thing, and our technicians monitor that to make sure we're actively collecting data and there's no issues. So opened up on my screen is what the software interface looks like, whether it's hosted or installed premise based. If it's our hosted solution, the software is accessible from any PC, mobile phone, or tablet device. When they go to the web URL, they'll be prompted to enter their login credentials that we provide them with, and they will have a company number as well. And that gives them access to only their data. They can only ever see their calls, access their recordings. Um, they can, within that as well, go in and then set up different levels of users. So even though um, it prompts for a login, they have the flexibility to still within access of the software set up different levels of users where they can go in and define for each user what features and functionality of the software they want the customer to, or the employee to have access to. So this is the same whether it's hosted or premise, the product looks the same. So when I reference things, these are all things they can do whether they're on the hosted or on the premise. So. Um, with the premise base, there is no security enabled by default. So if they enable security, they go in and they set up their different levels of users. And then they have the ability for each individual user to go in and define what station or stations they can run reports and access recordings for. So for example, I could go in and I could say, okay, I only want Alyssa to be allowed to run reports and access recordings for her own extension. And then I can also say, just give me one second here, it looks like someone turned off something. There we go. 
Okay, sorry. Um, so I can say only allow her to access the reports and the recordings for her own extension. Or if she's a department manager, I could say, okay, give her access to everyone within the sales department. So even though you may have access to, uh, we may be recording multiple extensions, within the security you can limit what stations each individual person can have access to. So you don't have to give them the ability to listen to everyone's phone calls. There is security that can be set up. And we definitely, through the online training that gets included with the purchase, we go through with the customer, we sit down, ask them what their needs are, and go through and help them configure the software based on what they're looking for. That's one of the unique things about our company is we provide direct support and training to the customer. If they're having issues with the software, they can contact us directly. Under the admin dropdown is where all of the backend setup gets done. So we do have features such as call alerts. They will always have the ability to run reports based on phone numbers. But if they want to have an alert of a specific phone number being dialed or calling in, they can set up this alert to notify them via email and or pop up within the web browser anytime a specific phone number is called. So we don't get the record until the call's been disconnected, but once it's disconnected and we receive that record, it, this will send out an email and say alert, 911 was dialed for this duration from this extension. And this does work on incoming calls as well. We also have a collection alert. So what this will do is notify you if a predefined time period has passed where we haven't either received any SMDR, CDR from the WildEx or if we haven't pulled any recordings. And so basically it just gives a heads up that for some reason Something's not working and will help eliminate any downtime. Now with premise-based product, this is emailed to a contact at the customer site and it's up to them to monitor if they receive that alert to make sure they contact us so we can look at it right away. Whereas with the hosted solution, this alert is set to our technicians who will then remote on and take a look right away and see what's going on. So that's one of the benefits of the hostess is it takes the onus off the customer of making sure that it's actively receiving those recordings and that data. In terms of reporting capabilities, we have the flexibility to report on calls by account codes, DID, DNS numbers, PIN numbers, as long as that information is provided in the CDR, we will automatically populate those numbers and have a series of reports that can be generated based on them. There is a billing component built into the software as well. So if a customer is maybe a multi-tenant organization or they're a law firm, um, and they want to bill back for time spent on the phone, or they just want to segregate uh, long distance costs across different departments, the software always comes preloaded with default per minute rates built into it, but these rates can be customized as to what they're being charged per minute, or if they're billing back, they can put in a marked up rate, or if they're not using it for costing purposes, the rates can just be zeroed out. Um, they can go in and set up multiple departments as a way of organizing their extensions. That way when they run the reports, they can focus on a specific group of people. The station numbers auto-populate into the software as we start to pull that CDR data. And then they can go through and assign a name and apply them to their appropriate department. And we do have some import functionality available with this. Um, but again, these are all things, <clears throat> pardon me, that we will go through with the customer and help them get it set up the way that they need. Now, within the software, we do also scheduled have scheduled reporting available. So if they want to set up the report so they just get automatically emailed to them, they can be daily, weekly, monthly. They could even do send me a report every hour for the previous hour. Um, this is handy for those people that find that they're running the same report and they don't want to have to come in and generate it every day. It just comes to their inbox as a PDF or Excel attachment. 
nice and handy. Um, they can just kind of set it and forget it. The only thing is the scheduled reports will never send the recordings along with it just due to file sizing, but this is uh, more for the reporting purposes. They can have a report emailed once a week or once a day of the current call volumes for that day. Um, in terms of reports, we do offer a large variety of different reports within the software. So under each heading, there is a ton of different reports and they have the access to every single report that we offer. And how the reports are grouped is how it sorts the call information. So company reports are going to tell you for the company as a whole, department break it out by department and station by individual station. And then there's, you know, some different specialty reports um, that are things like tell me the most called numbers or tell me the top stations by duration. So a lot of times we get customers who give us a call and they say, okay, I'm looking to run a report based on this. And we can go through several of the different reports that we offer and most of the time have a report that'll fit their needs. So there are a large number of reports and they can go in and kind of bookmark on their main screen what the most popular reports that they run are. So they have quick access at their fingertips. So the company by hour report, uh, this is a good report just for seeing for the company as a whole, how many phone calls you're making and receiving each hour. You could run this on a daily basis or I could say, okay, well, let's just look at last week. And under the select field are all the different ways that you can customize each report. So if you go in and you say, okay, just show me for this particular department, it'll only include calls to or from that department. You can specify only show me incoming or only show me outgoing. But I'm just going to say, well, I just want to look quickly at last week. So this will show you each hour that you had phone calls and it breaks out the different uh, hours and shows you how many inbound calls you received, how many outbound you made, total number of calls, and then it breaks out the different durations. So this is a company by hour. It's not breaking it out by department or station. It's showing me for the company as a whole. Now, if you wanted to look at more of a per extension basis, which most of the time people do, um, I would say that's under the station reports. And any report in our software that ends in the word detail will have those recordings attached to it. So for example, the station detail report is going to not only sort those calls by individual extension, but give you access to those particular recordings. So under this select field, as I said, are the different ways you can customize your report and it's also all the different ways that you can search for specific recordings. So you can narrow it down to a date and time of day if you wanted. You can search for a recording to or from a particular phone number, area code, city. Um, we could say, okay, well, let's only look at my extension. And again, if I wanted to look at only incoming or only outgoing, I would have that flexibility as well. So I'm just saying, let's look at today for my calls. And this gives us the date, the time, duration of the call. In the IO column, O is an outgoing, I is an incoming, the phone number, and where that phone number is located. Then on the far right-hand side, I can click on the audio icon to then access that recording. So with the Wildex, what we do is we pull down the Wildex recording file and we, if it's hosted, store that recording in our hosted platform or if the customer buys premise, it's stored on their computer. So with the hosted, and we'll talk about the pricing in a few minutes, hosted is based on storage, how much storage they need, how long they need to install, uh, store those recordings, whereas if they go with a premise-based solution, those recordings are stored indefinitely until the customer uh, deletes them off of that PC. So with the recording, you just hit play, and it'll start to play back that conversation for you. 
If you press save or email here, you're just saving or emailing an MP3 copy which can then be played through any standard media player and you have a history of any actions associated with the recording and with security enabled it would show what the username was that was logged in at that time accessing the recording. There is grading that can be set up with the, within the software as a way to tag or flag that recording and then we have reports that can be uh, pulled up based on the grades down the road. And these grades, the customer can go in under the admin and set these up to be whatever they want. So a good tool for training purposes, if you want to sit down with someone and go through training and you want to say, well, show me all the calls that have a grade of poor so I can show them what bad examples of customer service calls are. And you can pull up all the recordings that have a tag of that. Um, so that's one way to access the recordings is through the detailed reports within the software. As I mentioned, we also have a dashboard utility. So this is essentially a live productivity tool. So live in the sense that we don't get the information until the call's been disconnected. But with this, when this refreshes, it will load with all the most recent call information. And each individual user can customize their dashboard to look however they like. So this can be focused on the company as a whole, uh, individual departments, or just one particular individual station if you wanted to as well. You define whether you want any tables or graphs on it, um, but what I like about this is that you have that quick access to the recording. So when this refreshes with the most recent call information, you can click on that listen to access that recording almost instantly if you need to. So this is great for sales companies who have employees that are supposed to be making those phone calls actively or people who are taking orders. Maybe they forgot to write down the customer's phone number and they need to go back in and listen to that call quickly, um, gives them that quick access to the particular recording. So that's kind of an overview of the product. Um, there are a ton of different reports that you can generate details or overviews by hour, by day, by week, et cetera. Um, we do offer online webinars for your customers. So if you have a customer who's interested and you want to show them the software ahead of time, you can arrange that with us. We'll go in, connect them up to the computer. You're welcome to be present with that as well and take them on a run through of the product. And as a reseller, we never discuss any pricing with the customer knowing that they're working with a reseller. Um, so looking at the pricing, this is what our hosted pricing looks like. So this would be us hosting the data in our hosted platform for the customer. And this is for the call recording. So with the call recording, the customer has the option of either paying monthly or annually for the service. So monthly, typically what we would do is charge the customer directly on their credit card for that, unless there was a unique situation where you wanted us to bill your credit card and you in turn bill them. Um, after 12 months of service, what we will do is send you, the reseller, a residual check for the difference between reseller and MSRP for those 12 months so that you still make your margins on that as well. Or we have an annual option where they save 5% and they pay for the full year up front. And every year we would just send you a renewal notice saying customer ABC is coming up for renewal. Here's what the price is. Um, and you solicit them whether they want to continue with the service or not. And with the call recording, as I mentioned, this is based on how much storage that they want. So if someone purchases the 100 gigabytes and you know within a month they're reaching that storage, we never automatically delete the recordings. What we will do is reach out to the customer and say, okay, you're close to reaching your capacity. Are we okay to delete recordings? Or would you like to increase and go to the next step up for the storage? So we don't just set it and then automatically start deleting. We'll give them the option of increasing or approving the deletion of recordings. Um, so again, with the hosted, they can do monthly or annually for the service. Then we have the premise-based solution as well. So with premise, that's based on uh, the number of lines they have, and then they can choose, uh, sorry, and then that's a, 
Upfront purchase includes the first year of software assurance coverage, which is unlimited technical support, training, and software upgrades throughout the year. With premise base, there is an annual software assurance, and that's essentially to continue with that unlimited support, training, and upgrades from year to year. So with, with hosted, they, if they don't pay, we turn the service off. Um, with premise space, it's an upfront purchase. They own the product. It's theirs to keep with the option of a software assurance coverage every year. If they decline renewing and six months down the road need support, um, we don't offer any incidentals. They will have to pay for that annual support at that time. We also, if they wanted just the call accounting, no recording capability, they can purchase the call accounting by itself as well to give them more in-depth reporting. That is based on the number of extensions that they have. And again, they can go monthly or annual on that. Um, if they start out with call accounting and want to add the call recording, that can definitely be done, no problem. But this is what the pricing of the hosted call accounting looks like. So this would be call accounting with no recording capability within our product. Um, and then we offer premise base for that as well, where they can purchase per extension with the annual software assurance coverage. And one of the great things about the installation on the WildX is it's a nice, clean, easy install. There's no hardware required. Um, Installation-wise, all we need from you is the WildX URL and login credentials for an admin user, and it's pretty straightforward. It takes just a matter of minutes to, for us to connect up and pull those CDRs and those recordings. So uh, nothing much required from your technician's end other than giving us access to that URL and the admin credentials. Were there any questions at all? It doesn't look like we have any questions as of right now. Okay. And I'll just mention too, while people are maybe putting together their questions, um, I'm always happy to help you price out a solution. So if you have a customer that you think this would be a great fit for, you can reach out to me via email or on the phone. And I'm always happy to go through and provide you with exactly what you need in terms of pricing. We have sales literature, industry specific brochures and sample report booklets. And so our office, our team is here to help you um, from sales all the way to install and support of your customers. All right. Um, it looks like we don't have so many questions as much as a <laughs> couple of thank yous. Um, Amy Robinson also says, oh, we've sold two systems with Wildix. It's going good. Uh, we do have one question now from Chad Olson, which says, does the recording pricing include reports? Yes. With the recording, that always includes access to the call accounting. So when the customer buys the call recording, they get the call accounting included free of charge. So this pricing, you don't have to add the call accounting on top of it. It's both products. Uh, next question is a follow-up to that is, does it matter the number of extensions? No, for call recording, we just care about how much storage they want to purchase. All right, that looks like it is just about the end of our questions that we have. Great. All right. Uh, is there anything else you want to add or move on to? No, that is great. Uh, if anyone needs anything, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm always happy to help and here to support you guys. 
All right. So we do have one question, which is, do we have your contact info? Um, and you will either be getting a, an email from myself, Katie Trombetti at Wildex, or from Natasha at Hanson. Uh, and we'll be sure to include that information so that you can connect um, and she can help get you guys up and running. Perfect. We do have one more question that just came through. Sure. Um, do you have a recording call quality evaluation model? I'm not sure. Are you? Um... Are you asking more for like analytics type things? Could you explain a little more what you're looking for in terms of that? Yeah, this is Jerry. I, I suspect he's talking about, you know, much like many call center kind of products will have things where you can take and score the recording as an example, right? So I suspect that's what he's talking about, some sort of module that would allow you to you know, review the recordings and score them on the fly and create some reporting associated with the scores of uh, how agents took calls, that sort of thing. We do not offer anything like that, just the grades where you can go in and define what you want your grades to be and then apply a grade to each recording. Um, but it, you can only apply one grade per call. All right, um, I think that's it in terms of questions. Uh, thank you again, everyone, for attending, and thank you so much to Natasha for going over all My this. Pleasure. I know that uh, call recording and call systems are something that's you know really big and really important to a lot of our partners. So we're really glad that we have this integration and uh, something that we can work with you guys on. My pleasure, and I'll just add one more thing um, in terms of us and the Wildex, our turnaround time is extremely quick. So if you have an install that you need to get up and running right away, we if you place the order, we can get that installed and up and running for a customer typically within the same day. So well, all right. Um that sounds great. That's you know very impressive. <laughs> Great. Um, all right. So uh, if there isn't anything else, um, I think we're going to go ahead and sign off. But again, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to reach out to me or Jerry uh, or Natasha, especially. Um, and we look forward to uh, hearing and seeing all of you in the future. Thank you. Have a great Thanks day. all. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.